getting ready to start the round here at Decatur. Um, with only a few rounds to go, um, this is going to be a shootout here at uh, Decatur to see who would actually walk away as the winner and advance their way up higher in the points. Eric Burton's going to lead us down alongside is James Shelley. Green flag is out for Burton and we are underway here at Decatur. The main problem is going to be this turn right here and it already is beating a bang and look at all these cards fucking spinning. You guys. There's the 32 card. I don't even know who that is. Really, Baron Brackers, that's what it is. And Ashley Mace and all these other guys back here. Randy Carpenter. DJ Curtis has got some damage there. Jackson Williams. Caden Moker. Sky Collins. Jeffrey Fingai. Ezekiel Proctor. There's James Sorafox there. Along with Jordan Davis there. As they rub together um, quite a bit there. Um, but everybody else, well, we're not fine. There's more wrecking down through the grass area. We got saw a truck togger down there. He was in the grass area. The reason for truck being down there is Noah Hart got in the back of him, turned him sideways, and truck did a nice job of saving it. Kept it on the race track there. But rounding the final turn here, um, Eric Burton is going to complete lap number one of the race, bring the Fisher up behind him. He's up there in the top ten of the points. He's trying to get a good finish there. Burton, I don't know where really he is in the points. To be honest, I don't even remember who is leading the points or who is doing well in the points. Um, three wide here for second. This season has just not been the best. It's probably can be numbered as the worst Sony Cup Series season ever. And James Shelley and Raymond Fisher kind of hooked there. And boy, Fisher has ran wide. He's really wide now. Way up there he is. And he's going to lose a ton of ground because of it. All because James Shelley rubbed up against him there. And Nick Mace Gave him some room there to check up for him. And it caused Charles Jackson to check up a little too much there. Lost a bit of ground. Fisher drops down to seventh. Alex Allen was having a good top five run. Ran running right now in fourth. Would overdrive that turn to cook his tires. And slide off the grass area there. Alex Allen returning to the season series next season. Would get hit by Brandon McGurk who also is returning next season. But Alex returning in next season. And he'll be driving the zero car. Um... It once says once driven by his brother. Luke Martin right now is trying to run down Eric Burton right there in the number 77 car. Um, Burton in the 77, he's on his ninth career win, trying to get his tenth career victory here today. And um, <clears throat> Burton, rookie season back in season nine, season 13 now. Pretty much in only about four seasons, Burton has got 10 wins in the series, and that's pretty great right there. Um, he's trying to get his 10th career victory, but Luke Martin in the number six is just trying to get that, um, I think it's his eighth or seventh win in the series. Don't have the point sheet or the winning list sheet with me right here, but um, I know Luke Martin has a good bet right here. He's trying to run him down here. But by lap number eight, um, Luke Martin would kind of fall off a little bit on Eric Burton. Eugene Max would reel in on Luke Martin, and Martin has really got the heat from DeMax. DeMax is really strong over there at Eldora. Um, he's trying to grab second place away from Martin right now, so this battle is heating up, along is the battle for fourth with Raymond Fisher and Nick Mace. Oh boy, we got a big battle here a lap later, and DeMax has kind of lost Luke Martin a little bit. Raymond Fisher and Nick Mace have caught him. They're beating and bumping there. Look at Fisher pushing him there. Fisher's got the push from Mace. They're going three wide off this turn, and it's going to end in tragic right there for Raymond Fisher. Fisher's around. He spins from fourth, slams the guardrail down on the inside. Well, there goes a good finish for him, and he's blowing up, and that's out of the race for him. You can tell something was going to happen. Look at this on board there. They're three wide pushing each other there, and Fisher, he had, he had to give to Max some room there, and it wasn't for him there. But Mace misjudged the amount of room that Fisher needed, and Nick Mace just turned him around there. Seth Cole has creeped into the party here. He was running right there, pretty strong run there. He's now gotten by um, Nick Mace there to get inside the top five right there. So Seth Cole trying to get some good points here. He's one of the guys returning for next season. Battle for second. Heats up again, and Max just turns Luke Martin there. Wow. 
Luke Martin running really strong. He keeps it going, but he loses a ton of ground to Burton when he was right there in his target sights. Eric Burton by lap number 12 has really pulled the gap onto Max there. Um, you can tell right there, there's the view there. The Max is trying to run him down and the number 92. But there's the gap right there. And then there is um, Stephen Pollard. He is a lap down, but Nick Mace has got a battle on his hands with um, Charles Sanford and Brandon McGuirt back there for the top five positions. Um, Eric Burton and the number 77 is looking like his race to lose here at Decatur. Well, the Max is uh, trying to run down Burton there. He got shoved around by Stephen Pollard III, the lap car. Um, not the kind of race you want to see out of a lap car. He even actually shoves him off the racetrack. Not the kind of um, racing you would want to see by a lap car. Um, Galligan gives him room, though, around the corner, though. But Demax loses a crap ton of time to Burton, and Burton just might pull away with this one. By lap number 18 of the race here, Stephen Pollard the third would be another Newtons to our leaders here. Would turn Eric Burton sideways, and he actually would save it. And, oh boy, Burton, don't hit that wall. Don't hit the wall. Oh my god, he was so close to that wall. Wow. But Burton holds on to it, and he's going to hold the lead on to Max. Look how close this was to the wall right here. Oh my god, Burton was so close to impaling the wall. By lap number 19 of the race, though, Eric Burton would have come on in. Um, and Max is also going to come in and follow him. It's going to be kind of <clears throat> interesting to see how pit stops go over and who will actually um, take some strategy here. Charles Sanford um, also comes on in along with Ian Dutta, Charles Jackson, and others. Burton is going to be the first person to get off the pit road. Not much of a surprise there. Max is going to be second as well. Charles Sanford, Dutta, and Brandon McWhirt, the top five. Lap traffic is looking like it may be the downfall for Burton here. Um, he's got Richard Johnson on his hands. I'm sure it's not going to be that bad because Richard Johnson, um, he is the class act of the field and he knows how to race and he's got the 19 wins in the series. I'm sure Johnson's not going to give him much um, uh, heart heartache right here. Um, but Demax is still trying to close. Eric Burton's going to have to hope that he masterminds these lap cars in front of him and that Stephen Pollard doesn't become another problem like he did last time here. Um, Pollard, uh, let's see if he can, I don't think he'll be able to keep up much of a pace. Burton is running to some fast lap times, and extending the gap by about two tenths a lap on Demax. So I don't think Demax is going to have anything for him. Well, this is the last lap, and... Pretty much, um, Burton has pretty much dominated this whole race. He's let every lap of it, and he has deserved this win right here. 36 laps here, over an hour of a race. And, um, I didn't notice back from round, uh, season 12 on round number 16 at Talladega that that was his 10th win. But here today, he's going to capture another win. It's going to be his 11th win and tie for third all-time on the win list. Derek Burton wins at Decatur. Tying with a bunch of guys on there with Andres Allen and Eugene DeMax. Ties them for 11 wins on the series. And he's actually the fifth guy to ever get over 10 wins. And I didn't think that round at Talladega, that win at Talladega was his 10th one. I thought that was his ninth, but that was his 10th win. I looked at the win book just now, and this is his 11th win in the series. Congratulations to Eric Burton here at Decatur. And um, Burton is returning next season, driving a Ford in the six car. And that car is looking rather sporty. Um, Burton, pole to pole, flag to flag, a win here today. Started first, or I don't know if he started first, but he sure did lead every lap of it. Um, yeah, that was Decatur for you. And we will see you for Talladega, then DC.